With the new Room Wizard character coming up soon, I started thinking about lower level gear again, more specifically ancient sets. There are many ancient sets and even more combinations. So which combination is the best for each class? This is a more complex question that first meets the eye, as one will have to weigh every possible stat of every ancient set individually and then calculate the points each set has at every set effect. This is way too complicated for me to do right now, and maybe in time I'll take a look at this issue in more depth. For now we'll have to settle for a more surface level inspection of each ancient set. Let's start with the Blade Master. The two main sets for the Blade Master are the Hyun Dragon set and the Vicious Dragon set. Between these two, the set that gives the most stats is the Hyun Dragon set, except that sadly it uses a Lightning Sword as one of the pieces, severely reducing the damage output when you outgrow such a low level sword. If you can get both sets, I recommend using a full Hyun set and then three Vicious parts for the damage. But as soon as you outgrow the damage of the Heian Lightning Sword, or if you only want to buy one set, then the Vicious set is the best one that doesn't use a weapon. As for the missing gloves and boot slots, Heian 2 set option is pretty useless. So let's take a look at what combinations we can make. Using Cantata, Boots, Gloves and Ring gives 15 energy and 30 stamina. Not the best option, really. Warrior Boots and Gloves gives 10 strength. Garuda Boots and Gloves gives 30 max AG, can be nice if you need AG. Sadly, the only third option of the Garuda set that we can use in combination with the full Vicious set is the Pendant, and an excellent Pendant is better than the double damage plus 5% the Garuda would give, but if you have two very good weapons, you can consider using a 3 part Garuda in combination with Vicious set. The Crow Lancer, and you'll see this trend in all the newer classes, has only two sets to choose from, depending on the choice of main stat. For strength Crow Lancers, we have the Akir and Anna set. When choosing between two sets, we want to take a look at what we lose in the complete set option and what we gain by combining with the other set. In this case, if we choose full Ana set, we lose the 5% ignore, the 20 excellent damage, the 20 critical damage, but we gain 20 damage, 10% double damage, and 5% when using a shield. In the combination, we'd get an extra plus 30 skill damage and plus 30 damage. If we take all other stats out of the question, what is better? 10% double damage? or 5% ignore defense. I do not have the numbers to back it up, but in my experience double damage seems to do more damage, and it's 10% instead of 5. I would choose a full Ana set and combine it with accurate gloves, boots and ring to get the damage. As for the agility grow lancer, since both sets are pretty much the same, the Camille set is the better choice combined with either Carthy or Excellent Sate parts. That is, of course, same with the Strength Glory Lancer, if you don't mind using an Ancient Shield. If you want the slow open, then Carthy is your only choice. The Soul Master is also interesting. The best individual set is the Anubis set. Every stat except for the max mana plus 50 is offensive, easily surpassing the offensive potential of every other set. For combinations that use no pendant or weapon, we have the following. Apollo Pants and Ring, Energy plus 10. Evis Pants and Boots, Skill Damage plus 15. Heras Boots, Pants and Shield, Wizardry Damage plus 10% and 15 Strength. Ennis Pants and Boots, Skill Damage plus 10. And Varnaka Pants and Boots, Wizardry Damage plus 10%. Of course, the best is the Varnaki Pants and Boots as they give wizardry damage, but unlike the Hera set, it leaves the shield slot open to use an excellent or socket one. Next is the Elf. The Giwen set uses both weapon and a pendant, so it's clearly inferior to the Aruan set. There is no available combination, so excellent gloves are your only option. We're done with the Elf, but before we move on I want to give an honorable mention to the Argo set. It might not be the best set, but it's essential to my agility elf dual farmer build. 
you can find more information in the top right corner of the screen. The Magic Gladiator has two main sets, Gaion and Muren. These two are quite similar, and which one is best will depend entirely on the combinations we can do. The Gaion set uses a pendant which in my opinion is a massive disadvantage, but it doesn't use gloves, so we can combine it with Anubis, gloves and ring for an extra 10% double damage rate. Our other option is the Muren set, which is more suited for an energy magic gladiator, and the only good combination is with the Gaion, Pendant and Boots, to add 5% Ignore defense. Sadly, you're going to have to forfeit the complete option for the Gaion set if you want to use an excellent Pendant, or forfeit the extra Ignore defense when using a Muren plus Gaion combination. As with the Blade Master, if you have two very good weapons, you can use an Ancient Pendant. But if you use socket weapons or you don't have a very good excellent one, having an excellent pendant can be essential for survival and damage. Next is the Dark Lord. <laughs> a question as old as time itself. Broi plus Agnes or Agnes plus Broi? If we use the complete Agnes set and include Broi gloves, boots and pendant, we get the complete Agnes set options and plus 20 damage and plus 20 skill damage from the 3 part Broi. Not using the Broi Pendant removes the skill damage plus 20. If we use the complete Broi set and include Agnes, Helmet and Armor, we get the complete Broi set options plus 10% double damage rate. So there are two answers to which is best. If you don't mind using an Ancient Pendant, then clearly Broi plus Agnes gives better options. But if you are not in the position of forfeiting the offensive excellent options that a Pendant would give, then Agnes plus Broi is the better option for the plus 20 damage. Although if you are in need of more defensive stats, then excellent parts are also good. Let's continue to the Summoner. Just as the Lord, there are two sets to choose from, Semedan and Chrono. Now the choice between Chrono plus Semedan or Semedan plus Chrono is way easier than the Dark Lord one. To me, Semedan plus Chrono is the clear option here, as Ignore plus 5% to me is better than plus 20 critical damage and plus 20 excellent damage. Although if you are planning on leveling up a summoner with as low agility as possible, the plus 60 defense from the Chrono set could outweigh the 5% ignore. Next is the Rage Fighter. The Rage Fighter has two configurations, Agility and Stamina. Actually it has three, but nobody uses an Energy Rage Fighter really. For the Stamina Rage Fighter, both the Charmer and Vega sets are pretty garbage, as they use a weapon. But if I had to choose between these two sets, I'd pick the Vega set, as it has all offensive options plus 5% ignore over Charmer. For combinations with the Vega set, there are none that would be of great benefit, so combining with excellent items is the better course of action. The only good alternative that not only doesn't use an ancient weapon, but also doesn't require any stamina, so it's suitable for an agility rage fighter as well, is the rave set. It gives double damage and ignore, which is nice, but sadly, the 30% increased damage is only with two-handed weapons. It doesn't work with two one-handed weapons. Last, but definitely not least, the Rune Wizard. Again, she only has two sets we can combine, Arka and Iria. These two sets are very interesting, particularly the plus 300 HP the Iria set has. To me, that plus 300 HP is very good. That plus the fact that we can give both the double damage and the ignore defense. Now, the problem with the Iria set is that it uses a shield meaning that you will not be able to use a socket shield in the future, so I'll leave the choice up to you. In light of this, plus the fact that Rune Wizard Rude, that is very hard to say, <laughs> the fact that Rude will be scarce at first, if you want to use a socket shield whilst having the most offensive set possible for post level 400, your only choice is the Arca set plus excellent Kena's Helm. Now, if you're in no need to use a socket shield, then of course Iria plus Arca will be the way to go. And we're finally done. Is there any set or combination I missed? Leave comments and suggestions down below. If you play Global Moonline Helheim server, there's a link in the description to a list of items I'm either currently buying or selling. Take a look and mail me. Thank you and goodbye.